Hi, I'd like to talk about TV films and comics on this channel and today we're going to talk about a comic, the Paper Girls uh, Book 1 Deluxe Edition. This is from Image and it's by Brian K. Vaughan with art by Cliff Chang. Um, Paper Girls is a story about a group of well, paper girls. Um, there's four of them. They go out on their BMXs in the 80s to deliver their papers. Uh, there's your standard sort of tough kid, um, intelligent one, loner one. Uh, um, and they're around the neighbourhood. They have run-ins with um, other boy with boys, and they're out one night around Halloween doing their run, and they come across some strange occurrences. And uh, these strange occurrences cause them to find a machine and this machine turns out to be a time machine um, and then they get whipped off on an adventure around through time um, I'm trying not to spoil it because there's certain plot points that are reveals in the story that if I say now it will just sort of ruin bits for you um, uh, what you get though is a sort of real nostalgic 80s feeling um, story not like I want to say not like I want to say like strange things but it's not because Stranger Things is very. No, it's not like Stranger. Things. It's like it's, it's it's its own thing. It's got very distinctive art style um, that you would either I think love or hate, um, and it's got a very distinctive storytelling narrative style that I think again you would either love or hate. Um, I initially read this on digital um, and really liked it, and you know I've ripped through all the um, all the rest of the you know volumes up to now, um, and. This is definitely worth getting in deluxe format. You've got um, you've got a lovely hardcover book here with it's got well it's got everything every every sort of trick that you would put on a on a book cover. It's got shininess in the Paper Girls logo. It's got bright colours. Um, it's got a matte finish, which I'm always a fan of. And then it's also got a gloss finish on the, on certain bits on the back of the cover. Um, you don't get a dust cover as you never seem to do with image books. But you know that that's fine. Um, you've got a nice sewn binding that sits well, and you don't have any real gutter loss in the book at all. You don't really need to crap a book too much when you get it new um, either. It's got nice thick pages to it, uh, and it really makes the art pop. I don't know if it will come across on camera when you're going through it, but, but this book looks great when you're reading it. A bit like with the Harrow County Library edition from Dark Horse. This is, a, this is a book where the artwork makes up so much of the experience in the book that you really need to have it in that deluxe format to to do it credit, to be honest. Um, you don't get too much in the way of extras at the back. You know, you get some, you get some covers, you get some art sketches, uh, and you get a little bit of, you know, um, script work, uh, but to be honest, this is the kind of book where you're so satisfied with the artwork itself in there and the story that you're reading that you know I'm not that worried about it. I'm not buying this because I want to have a sort of gallery in the back or, or some essay on uh, people writing BMXs and things like that, which you do get in some books. And I just I'm never that interested in. Um, I definitely recommend you pick pick this up before it goes out of print because with things like COVID and all that, you don't know. Um, where the prices are going to go through the roof, where the things are going to suddenly go out of print and they're not going to bother redoing them. Um, and if you're a fan of science fiction, if you're a fan of like sort of 80s nostalgia, and you want a story just about teenage teenagers wondering whether or not they should follow other teenagers or whether their grown-ups are right or not, um, this is for you. Um, the story goes places and examines what it would be like to meet your future self and what you might turn into as an adult um, and how your teenage self might see that adult um, and I just think it's great. Um, there is a second um, deluxe edition book that I have got that I will talk about um, another time if people would like that or if I get the, get the mood to um, but definitely this first edition get it that it covers off the first two main story arcs and if you don't want to read it out thereafter that's fine you know um, you've got some conclusion to the story in there um, but it's a lovely piece to have in your library or collection um, please let me know your views on the story below if you enjoy paper girls if you don't be interesting to, to hear 
Um, otherwise, please give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and thanks for watching.